One of the great things about classic tractors is the way they bring families together, and that's especially true when you have a tractor dad had. And Orlis Francis from right here in Johnson City, Tennessee, you've got the tractor your dad had. Tell us about this one. Well, uh, he, he he bought this tractor in uh, 47. He bought it from, uh, got it from John Deere. They He couldn't afford to pay for it, but they, they gave him a year without any money down. And uh, I got the check that he wrote exactly a year later. Uh, I was there when it came off the flat car, brand new in, in, uh, in uh, Jonesboro. Uh, all the tractors were shipped by rail at that time. So, uh, but uh, it's been the family, it's never been restored. It's been kept up because we had to make a living with it. Now, you remember the day that this tractor first came uh, into your family's hands? Uh, I don't remember exactly, but I know it was uh, December of 47. What was the feeling that day? Well, I thought I'd died and gone to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, 11 years old. That was a big deal to get a brand new John Deere G on the farm in Tennessee when you're 11 years old. What was the first time? When did you get to drive it? Uh, that year. That year, I was able to drive it. This is the only one that was ever sold in Washington County for uh, five years. And then they began to get others in, you know, but it's, uh, uh, it's a bigger tractor than what he thought he was really getting, but, but we've used it. It's been probably the most used tractor here today. This is the seventh set of tires that's been on this tractor. My dad used it to pull balers, thrash machines, and uh, combines. So, Orlis, what do you remember about your dad and this tractor and, and what he did with it on the farm, and, and I guess how it fit into to what he really wanted to do as a farmer here in Tennessee? He had he, he done so much custom work. He had the first New Holland baler that came in the state of Tennessee, and, and if you knew anything about that, they were very heavy piece of equipment. And that's one thing that really works on the tires, on the highways. And we we had this tractor in Greene County, Carter County, Sullivan County. It uh, it was all over the place. And he had a uh, 28-inch thrash machine. Uh, he had 10-foot binders. And he had this stuff that, that no one else had. And that's, that's how he, he made his lift. And done a lot of custom work, plus using it on his own farm. So you think the GO's your family anything? Did you get get the good out of it? Well, yes, but the G was good for our family. It put food on our table. What do you think John Deere did right when they built the Model G back in 1947? Well, uh, John Deere supplied us with enough power to to, to uh, pull field choppers and stuff like that with. Uh, there's no telling how many silos that that tractor has filled. But that was a big tractor in its day. And what about that two-cylinder power? Is that a special sound for you? It is. It's uh, it's one of a kind, and I, I love it. I love it. It really is. It's uh, And I enjoy showing them now but since it's retired. It's uh, kind of like myself. I'm I'm, I'm about quit. <laughs> <laughs> well, the John Deere is still running pretty good. What's the feeling when you drive it around at a show like this? Does it does it make you think about your dad a little bit? It, it really does, and I'm proud of it. And uh, there's, like I say, there's not a lot of these G's around. Most of the G's that's here have came in from out of state somewhere. And this one, you told me it stayed on your farm from the time your dad got it new all the way to today. Is that right? All the way. To, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. That's a pretty rare thing. And and I, would, I wouldn't I would be afraid to tackle a 100-acre farm with it today. I might be a little slower than, than today's tractors, but I, it would get the job done. That's what G's were built for to get the job done. Orlis Francis and his 1947 John Deere. Thanks for sharing that story. You're very welcome. His dad would sure be proud of this John Deere G today.
Thanks for catching Classic Tractor Fever. If green is your scene, be sure to check out these other classic stories. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep those classic tractor stories rolling.